Hey everyone, it's Michael and I teach you how to become fluent in Spanish in 12 months or less. Today we're going to talk about YouTube and what my plans are going forward. So in the last video I talked about what happened during the five day experiment uh, with YouTube where I posted two videos uh, a day for five days. Uh, you can look at that. My views went up by five uh, times 5.67. So literally, it I think it's quintupling. Uh, the views which is awesome so now i'm at 103 views per month which is great because before that uh the last month i got 17 views which is not a lot but you know when every vi when every video you put out is getting like four or five views like that's what it is and i'm not posting that much so you know quality was not good and volume was not good so i had to change something so i went for volume but we're gonna go with um what i'm gonna do for the next month. So for right now, what I'm gonna try and do is five, for five days a week, I'm gonna do one video per day. And that's just a little bit more sustainable. When I tried to do the 10 videos, uh, because it was five days, two videos a day, it just felt very unsustainable. I was uh, doing the, like the 10th video and I felt like I was rambling and I was repeating myself. Um, especially with the job that I have now, I only sleep like five hours per night for like, at that point I slept like five hours per night for the last three nights. So I was like exhausted, but I just wanted to pump out those uh, those videos. And it was hard for me to even think of the topics because I was like, wow, 10 topics right now. Um, so it did force me to, to kind of uh, diversify a little bit of the topics I was doing and not just do language learning. Um, but yeah, so for right now, I'm gonna try and do one video per day, five days. Um, that's the first point. Second point is I am not going to change the titles or the thumbnails. I'm not going to do any more. Th I'm not going to do any thumbnails just like I have uh, not been doing for the five day experiment. Uh, for the titles, I'm going to keep the same kind of like kind of clickbaity kind of not like I answer everything that I say in the title, but it's going to be very like alluring, very like Graham Stephan, Ox Hermosi, uh, content bug kind of uh, titles. Um, the more diverse topics I'm going to be talking about, not just language learning, um, but also like business stuff, uh, uh, YouTube, um, and I'm going to be talking about self-help as well. And then, uh, I'm not going to be using any TubeBuddy or vidIQ. I know it's a lot of people that have like recommended for, you know, for smaller YouTubers and big YouTubers to use this to like go into analytics. But for me, it's just a little too complicated yet. Um, what I, what I kind of think about is, is just this analogy where if I'm at point A and I'm trying to get to point B, um, a lot of times when we're trying to, and this is like you trying to get better at something, a lot of times, uh, from point A to point B, there'll be like a lot of shops and a lot of people trying to help you on your way there. Cause it's not a straight line. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to start walking and meeting these people and having these shops give you the resources that you need as you go to point B and you might make a mistake, but then you might talk to someone and they might say, oh no, no, that's the path that you should go. And you're like, oh, okay. And you slowly get over there. What a lot of people do because they don't want to start their journey. And I've done this so many times because I am a perfectionist is I say, instead of starting my journey, let me just call all these shops and all these people and get all the information first. And it might take a while, but you know, at least I'll be prepared. So if, if, you know, if you had a mentor and you had a person A and person B, like a person and over 30 days, person A just started walking and they don't have all the information. So they're making mistakes left and right, but at least they're getting somewhere. Person B uh, might say to their mentor where their mentor is like, okay, person A like is over there. They've made mistakes, but at least they're, you know, far ahead. Like, what have you been doing? You just stood in the same exact position, calling people, trying to see what mistakes you shouldn't do because you want to be a perfect line there. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, yes, maybe two miles down, you might find someone that could have given you information that you needed at the start of your journey, but you'll never know. It's better just go and, 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 and learn as you go, which is another video that I have on my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, uh, the quality is only going to go up once my views stagnate from posting once a day for five days uh, a week. So if, if I'm posting and I'm like, hey, okay, something's not going, like I don't wanna do twice a day because that just seems like like a lot. I wanna keep it out once a day and my views are stagnating, that's when I'll try to get some thumbnails in. Um, maybe I'll try to get some editing in. I just really don't wanna do thumbnails and editing right now because it just slows me down. It's not something I enjoy. Um, not that I can't do something that I enjoy, but in the past when I was doing it, it was not helping me in actually producing videos. So where maybe I could have gotten three videos out, I would only do one and it would just take me forever. 
And it's because I, my perfectionist mind was like, okay, now's the point to try to make it as best as I can. And if you've ever read The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, you know that you just need to get stuff out there. Like everyone would love 10 years to work on one single project and make it the most beautiful thing ever. But part of that is just insecurity. It's like, if you don't care what people think, just put it out there and get better and better and better. The best people in the world, athletes, artists, people that are just very good at something and their craft have done it a thousand times. You know, there's that, that rule, the 10,000 hour rule to become an expert, you need to spend 10,000 hours on it. So if I wanna get good at YouTube and I want you know, a lot of uh, uh, subscribers and ultimately, ultimately the goal is to, you know, monetize this. So I need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 uh, viewing hours and to get people to go to my uh, landing page for, for to, to learn Spanish. Like I just gotta get the reps in at this point. It's not about quality. I need to do so many reps that I'm like, okay, I know how to do this. Oh, I know how to do that. Um, just like if you look at Alex Hormozzi in his channel, he talks about sales, how he's like, you shouldn't even read any books until you've done at least like 40 calls in sales because if not you don't know what you're reading you don't know what you're talking about and it's putting so many rules in your head and that's just how i think about spanish learning as well where i tell people in my program like you just gotta start speaking with people like don't try to learn all these rules because then when you have your first conversation all you're going to be doing is thinking and not being in the moment and actually doing it um so sorry for this little tangent at the end but that is the goal um, I'll let you guys know how it goes and I'll keep you updated and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. See ya.